Okay, in this first video, I'm going to show you how to add the Blueberry plugin that's needed for podcasting in WordPress. Okay, so what you want to do is go to plugins and you want to go to add new plugin. And then what you want to do is search B L U B R R Y. So it's a uh, Blueberry spelt like that. Okay, and the one we're looking for is this top one. Okay, Blueberry PowerPress podcasting plugin. You can see it's already installed here, but you just click the install now button on yours and then activate it. And then that's the plugin installed for you. So press pause now and do that work and then come back and press play again. Okay, now you've got that activated on your site. Where we need to go now is to actually have a look. We go to the settings here and then we go to PowerPress. Okay, and click on PowerPress. And we're going to look at the PowerPress settings in here. You can see as well, um, there are tabs across the top. And you just need to work through some of these basic ones really quickly to get started. And you can update these over time. So we go to basic settings. Okay, most of these you can just leave as is. Okay, it's very rare you need to change all of these, but take your time and have a look through so you can see what's going on. Service and stats you don't need to worry about. Okay, um, but you can, if you want, connect yourself to Blueberry for free, and that will give you some extra analytics. Okay, media appearance. Now you want to enable the PowerPress media players and links. That should already be enabled for you. You want to see where you put it in your blog posts and pages. In this example, it's disabled because I'm going to manually put it in my page and I'm going to show you how to do that. And we manually put it in using this short code PowerPress. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I've done that in a minute. But that's disable. The media player, disable player. You can play with all of this, by the way. Okay, you can play with all of this and see what it looks like on your screen. But I've found that it's easier to just use the PowerPress to be able to better control it. So disable and PowerPress, I'm going to show you where to go in a minute. Feeds. Okay, this podcast feed here, this is what you're going to need when you set up your iTunes podcast. So in the iTunes instructions, the very first step in iTunes asks you for a feed URL. So you go and this is what you need to copy here and paste in. Okay. In the iTunes here, once you've got that feed and you, once you paste this feed into iTunes and once you set up your iTunes correctly, iTunes will give you its own feed. And then what you do is you will paste your iTunes subscription URL into here once iTunes has given it to you. Okay, so that will connect it together. And also once you've got a, you put in your category and you explicit in your iTunes image. Okay, so you put in your image here for your iTunes under this iTunes side of things and work your way through just to check. If there's anything you're not sure about, just leave it as standard and the TV you don't need to worry about. So that's the PowerPress settings under the settings here. And then if I switch to a blog and show you what it looks like on an actual blog post, this is a, a recent blog post. And what you can see here is we're using Lead Player for the video for video SEO. So the lead play video goes here and then there's a web podcast and then I've got the PowerPress short code in here. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like on the actual page. So as this loads, this is the lead player player here and then there's the podcast words and here is the podcast player in here. Okay, so that's how the PowerPress represents on the screen. So if I go back here, that's the PowerPress. If I scroll down here in this blog, what you're looking for here is podcast episode. And when you look at it for the first time, this is what it's going to look like. And what you want to do is this has been set up on Amazon S3. So this is an S3 URL. And if you get your SEO videos done through my team, they will supply you with the MP3 link this URL from your Amazon account. They'll do the MP3 stripping and hand you the URL. If you're using your own Amazon account, then you put the URL in here, you click verify, 
and it will actually verify and it will fill in all of this and you know it works you'll get a green tick and it'll all be created okay and that's all you need to do for the podcast and then what will happen is that the feed that's been given to iTunes it will update and it will pick up the information in terms of the post and the pictures etc for the listing in iTunes so that's what you do and once you've published it as you just saw here once you've published it if you want to come back and change it you click on here modify existing and it'll open it up and you can make changes if you want so that's how you add your mp3 link and it has to be it can't just be an mp3 off your computer it needs to be off a service that will allow streaming because if anyone downloads should I say when someone downloads your podcast it has to be from a streaming service so um, Amazon S3 is recommended for that if you don't know how to do Amazon S3 follow the Amazon S3 instructions that's inside of Jamie's fast track all right they're the stop steps that you need to follow to set up Blueberry on your website any questions then feel free to get in touch all right bye for now <laughs>